Hi, my name is Jake Thurm. I'm a PGA Tour instructor. It's my pleasure to show you the center of pressure trace line of my friend and client, Kevin Streelman, who's one of the most consistent ball strikers on the PGA Tour today. This was taken at the PGA Championship at Whistling Straits this past year and is a great representation of a linear iron trace. You can see at address he has a touch pressure forward and something we noticed through the use of the body track technologies is he always had the tendency of setting up with too much pressure in his left toe, which would he would use as a trigger to initiate his motion. Ideally, what we'd like to see is a touch more pressure in his left heel compared to his left toe, and a touch more pressure in his right toe compared to his right heel. He would then switch those as he rotated his pelvis back. You can see halfway back, he's achieved 80% pressure back into a balanced right foot, and now is going to move into what I call a pressure leak forward. In other words, the high club head speed players, half to three quarters of the way back, start leaking their pressure forward. So he, you can see he went from 80 to 70, before the completion of their own backswing. Something we're always working on is maintaining the depth of Kevin's hips throughout his motion. You can see his right hip on that box there. And what we notice with body track is that he used to kick his center of pressure line rightward or out towards his left toe which would cause him to lose the depth of his hips and be unable to rotate as efficiently through the shot, thus losing some stabilization of the club face through the impact segment. Now, what we do from the top is we feel like we push down on our left heel and get into it as soon as possible. In other words, we like to see if that line is not linear, straight across, if anything, we'd like to see it moving leftward into the left heel prior to impact. This, of course, would mean that he has maintained the depth of his hips and was able to rotate his lower body, which in turn would allow him, through his thoracic, to rotate his upper body. In other words, he's getting around the corner. Every time he got into his toes, we noticed that he would lose control over the club face and his exit would come out lower with the club face more closed. You can see that that is coming out higher and much more stable. So it's not only the timing of the push down and then again up through the ground, it's the location in which you do it from that allows for more efficient pivoting action. I think you can see pressure is the leader which affects his motion and motion then in turn affects his position. And this is how we are improving Kevin's performance.